things are not going well, uh, to put it mildly. Are we putting the Mets to bed? Yeah, I think they're done. You, re you re really? I, I'm they're trying done. so hard to hang on to any shred of hope that Matt Harvey regain regains glory and uh, Thor comes back late August. And I, I, it's just. What? Arizona and Colorado and Los Angeles seem that's, like see, that's the three problem. teams are coming out yeah, of Yeah, three West. teams are coming out of that division. And, and they're not c catching the Nationals. See, that was someone emailing you to say, look, <laughs> am I still Robert's alive? right. I thought it was mine. That's not me. Oh, you know what? It might be me. <laughs> it is you. You're not Shoot. used to doing it. Rich Hill, uh, on down the list, that they are able to in the postseason, I feel like if Alex Woods, their third best. You yes. always say, give me someone to walk in the clubhouse August 1st to rile up yeah. the guys. Give me one person who gets them there. One person who makes them that much better to walk. I mean, in the I'd clubhouse. love the huge. I'd love the huge bat, even though they they swung the heck out of it against the, yeah, it, the depth. The depth of this team just will not quit. They can they can overcome injuries. They they've been able to do it from start to finish so far this year, and and, and it'll continue. But I want to dive in because this this was historic. What yeah. they, what they did. I mean, 15 homers in a four game series is a franchise record. So it got me thinking. Like when I was a kid, right? You wanted to go deep in little league, hit a home run. Yes. Because you got something <laughs> from the concession stands to go. It was a pint of ice cream. Yeah. Right. Chocolate, Hagen Dazs, crush it. I didn't play a whole lot, so I don't All know right. what, what. So my motivation in life was to make sure I had a pint of ice cream after a little league game. Well, fast forward to 2017. I now have a seven year old boy. I have two beautiful children, but they are. Gluten and dairy free. You know, Teen of 14 Dodgers have won. Unbelievable. 48 and 26. Season high seven game win streak for LA. Dave oh, Roberts man. says, hey, the air is thin right now. Mm -hmm. Get that launch angle up because a couple of months the air is going to get heavier out there. You to nine. Right. So the Astros sweep right. the A's. It's a big one. Marwin Gonzalez. <laughs> you're calling it Marwinism. Uh, are we? That's what that's what you're calling it. <laughs> that's what they told me to tell you that you're calling it. All right. So hold up, presser. We got we need a little lead in right here. All right. So. <laughs> do you know what who Charles Darwin yeah. is? You do. Okay, survival of the fittest, natural selection. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, let, let, let's roll a little Where bit. Are we give, going? give a little bit of a history lesson, presser, right here. He's a manager's Tanks. dream. He is a manager's dream. Because there's no way you show should up. Should he get some MVP consideration? Yeah. People are writing about it and talking about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I More guess. not insurmountable. Three against the Mariners. They sweep them. Can we just. Yeah. At what point? Yeah, no. Three against the did Mariners starting Did you know that's why giraffes tonight. have long necks? I, I didn't what know I didn't. That. You taught me something today. <laughs> hey, Lauren, just how tall oh my gosh. Uh, Jenny is. And, and as you were talking about, when she steps, it's almost like she's handing the ball to the catcher. It really is. It was a thrill for me because I was a softball player in 2000. And she was the pinnacle. She was intense. She was competitive. And just picking her brain on mechanics. She's big on mechanics. She says less than 1% of softball players have the right mechanics, which I thought was shocking. She does a lot to change her mechanics and strengthen. She jump ropes. She puts her hand in rice when she's watching TV oh, and strengthens oh. her hand like that. Pretty cool, Been but there. but to your yeah, but to your point, she's a tall girl. She's six foot one, and there's 43 feet on a softball field from the mound to the batter's box. But by I'm going to show you. But by the time she gets done with it, she's here. So she now there's like 30 feet from me to the batter's box, wow. and she, it's not just a fastball down the middle, guys. I mean, she throws a, a screwball, a curveball, a slider, uh, a change. It's incredible. So you're picking up as a as a hitter, you're picking up bat. It's the equivalent of a 98 mile per hour fastball. You're picking it up from 30 feet away, and in her prime, it was 70 miles per hour. That's crazy. You got to look at it. The, the comp was Randy Johnson, uh, Jenny Finch to Randy Johnson. Similar mechanics. You faced Randy. Sunday Night Baseball in 1998. I show up to Turner Field. We're playing the Houston Astros. Randy Johnson was oh, on the yeah, Houston yeah. Astros, mm -hmm. and I literally was. Perhaps one of the best Japanese pitching matchups we've seen this side of the Pacific. You Darvish, Masahiro Tanaka tonight at 7 Eastern. They haven't faced each other since 2011, pitching in Japan's Pacific League. Darvish came out on top in that contest. Baltimore begins a six-game road trip tonight, hoping it will be better than their last. The O's allowed 71 runs in eight games on that trip, and there's no sign that Chris Archer 
sucks. Despite what Eric Hosmer's sign may have said on Central, he's got at least six innings in each of his last six outings. And the Cards and Pirates are both trying to climb out of the NL West basement, NL Central basement. The Bucks have lost seven straight at Bush Stadium, and Adam Wainwright looking to bounce back from his last outing when he allowed nine earned runs and didn't make it out of the second inning. Let's take